What's going on guys and welcome back to another video. So today, well, we finally have time. We're gonna throw this uh, pillar right here, a pillar on there, uh, number one. We have to make sure it even works. I don't know if it fits. It might not even be the right size uh, according to the website. And I'm not going to tell you guys where I got it from uh, because I don't even know if it fits. But according to the website, it says it's supposed to fit this truck. I've never even popped one of these A-pillars out before. But it looks like this piece right here is supposed to come out. Um, I, don't, I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, but we got rid of uh, the edge system, so we're going to take that out, and we're going to put the three eye dashes, if that works, in there. But uh, right now, well, we're going to uh, we're going to see if I can pull this apart and see. Uh, see, it looks like it's going to fit just from looking at all like the angles and stuff and the length. Looks looks identical, but I don't know. Let's let someone pull it apart and see what happens here. All right, guys. So I popped this off just to give me some play here. Popped this off. Figured this had to come out. Looks like there's a. I don't know if you guys can see that little 10 millimeter bolt there. Uh, there's probably gonna be another one right there. So I'm gonna pop that off next and see uh, how much this thing uh, loosens up for me. So guys, it looks like there's another bolt in there, and then I gave it a good tug. Uh, and it just popped right out, but be uh, careful because there is an airbag in here. So the last thing you want to do is, you know, smack something or a wire or something and get that thing to deploy. That will be pretty ugly. But uh, that's about it. It was really easy. It came off. Not uh, not too difficult. Two bolts. I don't know, five minutes, pulled it off, and bada bing, bada boom. So now, uh, let's go compare it and see if it's close. So obviously you're not going to have, you know, these uh, pins right here because that's where your gauges are going to go but it doesn't so these don't look the same but we can go see uh, we're gonna go see uh, I don't know yeah this looks different so we're gonna see if that if that's going to work um, other than that it looks like it's just gonna be that bolt and that's about it guys I don't know it doesn't look like it's gonna work but let's go throw it on the truck and uh, find out I'm gonna go take a light and go check in these two little slots and see if these will work okay guys from trying to put this in looking it over I got rid of those tabs because there's tabs they're not gonna work reason they're not gonna work because I'm looking at this you guys see how much smaller this one is and how much sharper and thinner so what I'm gonna try to do here, and I'm not guaranteeing it's gonna work, and as of right now, this is not a perfect fit. I already knew it wasn't gonna be a perfect fit. But what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take some measurements here, and take some measurements here, and I'm gonna try to Dremel right, just along like this here, to pretty much get this, you know, curve in a little. I mean, you can see here where it looks like it was supposed to be cut, but wasn't cut right there so I'm gonna cut this give it that you know circle just how this is so pretty pretty much it's it's almost exact the hole matches up but the only thing that's going to be holding this thing really is the rubber seal that you know when you tuck it in this thing you know right here so this will pinch it and that one screw will be pinching it that is you know right there is it gonna be good I don't know I'm gonna do some modifications to this Try it and well, see what happens. Well, there you have it, guys. So um, it was, I'm not gonna say it was too easy, but a couple, couple things that I don't know they might bug me. So you can see this texture is sort of different, obviously, than this. It's not, you know, it's not identical. Um, but I mean, same goes for for that side over there. You see, it's it's not identical, so. I don't know, that's a little more flatter. I might put maybe like a more of a satin look on this painted satin, but I mean it's I gotta say it's it's looks good. Very little modifications. It's nice and tight, you know, it ain't it's not gonna move, it's not gonna go nowhere. Uh, but other than that, I don't know. Comment down below guys, let me know what you guys think of this. And like I said, I don't know if I mentioned this in the video. Oh, that's oh make sure if you guys do get this. So this seal, see that? It's not supposed to go um, like that you got to get the, your get your pick right here and guys don't use metal either make sure you use these little nylon ones because you will destroy this and make sure it goes outside like this oops here we go so you guys can see there you go so make sure that sits up there nice just like that bam bada bing bada boom okay guys so 
this, see this, this is how much I had to take off. And I knew I did because I could tell how, sm how much smaller this part was. Now, what you also have to do, you gotta make it shorter because these clips are no longer going to work. So like I said, the only thing it's holding is that rubber piece and this uh, nut right here. But it was on really tight. You know, I mean, if you're gonna, you know, go jump and off-road your truck, you know, your Ram, I, I would keep this, but I'm not. So um, what I had to do was just take a look. I took this little Dremel right here, nothing fancy. And this was bada bing, bada boom, just like this. You gotta, well, don't even worry about those. You're gonna cut this and then that's it. I'm gonna clean this up, smooth it out and then repaint it. Again, remember it doesn't come black, it comes like this tan color. So if you got a Duramax, I know the, tur the Durama Duramax, the uh, Duramax comes with a tan um, tan color, so it'll be perfect, you can just slap it right on. But yes, unfortunately guys, there is some minor uh, modifications, nothing too crazy, but I don't know. Comment down below, let me know what you guys think of this thing. And bam, just like that guys. So we just cleaned it up with the Dremel, spray painted it, I uh, got it looking, you know, a little better, so it looks like factory, but, you know, I know it's not perfect. Like, you can see that little tiny flaw right there, but that's going to be tucked away. You won't see in it. Uh, I did it a flatter black, or satin uh, black, I should say, and uh, I'm going to let it dry here. It's almost dry, but I'm going to let it dry overnight, uh, then uh, wait for the eye dashes to get here, and then we'll start the install. Also guys, I don't remember if I uh, mentioned this in the video, if I did, uh, sorry, disregard it, but, so they come uh, with these or with, um, with these that go into here when you pop these two out right here, but you're going to have to either, so for people, if you guys don't have any nuts and bolts laying around the house, you're gonna have to cut this washer off. So, and the size is a uh, M6 metric, M6 by 1.0, so I had a couple uh, laying around, but I cut one just to uh, to show you guys. So how you want it, or if you want to do it like this, I don't know if there's any other way, but because this right here, if you do when you purchase this, uh, this actually hits right here on the top. Oh shit, I just touched it. All right, you can't see it. Oh crap, yeah you can, whoops. Probably shouldn't have touched that. Uh, but this uh, hits there and you're uh, not gonna be able to tighten the uh, nut down. So you gotta cut it off. Make it look like that and you'll be good to go. And bam, guys, look what have finally arrived. My eye dash. Well, they're not all eye dashes. They're pedal monsters, but these are the eye dashes that arrived for the three uh, pillars here, the column, A pillar. Um, so we're going, I'll explain to you what's going on with them, but I'm going to uh, unbox them and uh, you know make sure they fit. But here's why I really like the uh, Banks, the eye dash, the data monsters. So this thing, as you guys know, for us in the tuning world, if, if there's a tune problem or something, we need to data log it. Well, here's what's nice about the banks. The banks will data log, and the banks uh, system, iDash, data logs 100, I believe a, up to 100 PIDs. Uh, it's incredible. I mean, this thing gives you so much information. And I'll get into it uh, in another video about all what this thing does. But uh, right now, we're going to get these iDashes installed, and I'll explain to you in another video why I chose the iDash and switched from iDash to Edge. All right, guys, we've got two iDashes in, but uh, while I'm putting a third one, I thought I should show you guys what I'm doing. So I'm taking this Dremel right here, and I'm going around it just like this, slowly. Just taking my time, not really, you know, grinding. You don't want to mess it up or, you know, miss and scratch it. So if you guys got a Dremel, or you could probably even sand it, but with this Dremel, it's just really easy. And I'm going around it, I don't know, probably 15 times slow. And then um, I'm not making it, you know, where this thing just flops in. I'm making it nice and tight where, you know, in the back, I don't have to actually put any nuts, bolts, nothing on it. It fits snug, nice, flush, and I mean, it doesn't even move. It's not even budging. Bam. There you go, guys. So now, how you uh, daisy chain these things is, it's pretty dang easy. You can't really mess it up. So they come with these adapters right here. And you just, you, and again, it's a four, you got four prongs and you got six, so you can't mess them up. You got the two there, you got another adapter here, that's going to plug just like that again. Bam, six. Now you take your other, the OBD2 port, that is right here, and this one is only a four. So that one's gonna go into, I'm gonna go to the shortest one so I can do the shortest run, into this. This you don't have to, if you just have eye dashes, nothing plugs into here. 
But in my situation, I'm hooking up a, also a, a pedal monster. So that's why you have this. You can also, I got this for my EGT. So I'm hooking up a lot, but I'm just showing you guys how to hook up the eye dashes right now. They just go in sequence, and then you plug your OBD2 into there, and you're good to go. And bam, just like that, guys. She's all done, fits nice, snug. Really, the only thing that's holding this thing is this one bolt that's in here and the seal and it being, you know, tucked in there. But I can't use that other bolt because there's no hole in there. It doesn't line up. But, I mean, it's pretty dang tight, you know. It's not moving. It ain't falling. But this thing is awesome, guys. I'll give you a little uh, preview real quick. And, guys, if your key's on and you do get this set up and it's not doing this, remember, just hit the uh, down button arrow. And bam, there you go. See that? And now I haven't set anything up yet, uh, but I will set up, you know, all the PIDs. That's the final look. That's what it's going to look like. So this part will work. If you guys want to purchase it, you can't purchase it. You will just need to make those minor modifications. But I also like it because now I don't have anything, you know, that is sticking here with a big screen right here, you know, in my way. Um, that was the only thing that kind of bugged me about it was it was right here in my way but I had to get the big screen because I'm blind I can't see now with these gauges you know especially this one I like way up here and driving I could see these nice and clear now well there you have it guys let me know if you like the setup what you think of it I personally love it if you guys do purchase it and need help you can DM me on my Instagram at Eddie's life uh, you will probably have you know confused uh, area no big deal just dm me i'll try to help you guys as fast and as soon as i can but that's all i got for you guys today thank you guys for watching this video if you like this video don't forget to hit that thumbs up button don't forget to click subscribe peace yeah